Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hello. It's great to be talking to you. Um, my name is Julie, and I'm a certified holistic health coach, yes. uh, yoga instructor, and I also have psoriatic arthritis, so I really oh. love to empower patients with psoriatic disease, um, not only psoriatic disease, but all chronic conditions really to you know take control of your conditions and, and still live your best life. So I'm very, very happy to be speaking with both of you. Thank you for taking time. Thank you. Yeah. So um, I'd love to maybe just get a little background of your psoriasis diagnosis and kind of your journey with the condition. Well, most people know me as an Olympian or a uh, mom or TV host, but I'm also one in seven and a, seven and a half million Americans who have psoriasis. And yeah. a couple of, a couple of decades ago, I was training for the 92 Olympics, and I noticed these red flaky patches on my elbows and back, and I just kind of let it go, and then they started to get really, really irritated after about a month, so I went to my dermatologist, and he diagnosed me with psoriasis, and one thing that's kind of funny is people go to the office and wear a business suit, but for me, my office is a swimming pool, so, yeah. I, so I have to wear a swimsuit, so everything's exposed. Right. Uh, so, yeah, cover up. <laughs> yeah, so at first it was a little embarrassing, but I had to just let my teammates know that this isn't contagious. If you touch me, you're not going to get it. If you dive in the pool, you're not going to get it from the water. So uh, that was my first experience with it. And over the years, as, as it's flared up, I realized it's really due to stress for me. That's my condition mm -hmm. is, is due to stress. And so I try to find ways to, to de-stress and, and maybe work out a little bit more or um, just like take a few deep breaths and try not to get too stressed out about things. But you know, I'm, I'm very excited to have uh, teamed with Celgin and Otesla to launch this Show More of You campaign. And the great thing is they have this wonderful website, uh, showmoreofyou.com. And I personally have posted Show More of Me picture um, on the website and an inspirational message. And we hope that others will do the same and just trying to raise awareness about psoriasis and let people know that they can still achieve their dreams even though they're living with this condition. Right, right. So when you were first diagnosed, were you given medication right off the bat, or did you manage it in different ways? Um, I think, you know, treating psoriasis is a very private matter. Uh, for me personally, um, I just had some cream to put on at the beginning back in the early 90s. Uh, but, again, it's a very personal decision on how you decide you want to treat it. Everyone's different. Right, right, right. Were you ever worried about um, different treatment options with your Olympic training? Uh, no, you know, uh, for me personally, I, I knew what I had to do. I know what I'm allowed to take, and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I just did what I needed to do to try not to get too stressed. It would always flare up right before big games, but, uh, again, I would try to just sort of decompress and take some deep breaths and try to de-stress so it wouldn't flare up too badly. Right, right. Was there anybody that maybe didn't want to get in the pool with you after seeing your psoriasis or any of your teammates or competitors or anything like that? No, you know, I um, I think at first when I first had it, I just sort of put my elbows in and just didn't let people see it. And then I realized that this is who I am and, and I'm not going to change who I am or hide anything because I have this condition. And so um, I don't think anyone really uh, had the guts to come up to me and say anything. <laughs> uh, but, but I know that there are uh, people out there who will hide their disease so they don't get embarrassed. And that's the whole point of this website is, is to be okay with who you are in your own skin. Right, right, right. So you said, you know, stress is a big trigger, and I can imagine that training for not even just one Olympics, but multiple Olympics can be pretty stressful. How did you deal with that? Again, it's, it's you know, you don't realize that you're so stressed until it starts right. to flare up, and I look and I'm yeah. like, oh, I must be stressed, because that's always when it... Uh, when it pops up. But again, you just have to sort of f find ways to decompress and uh, realize that even though the Olympics is a wonderful thing, it isn't the most important thing that's ever going to happen in your life. And I realized that back in 06 when I had my daughter, and I think uh, it made it a little bit easier to de-stress. Right, right, right. Now, you are a huge uh, proponent of exercise and fitness and diet. How has that played a role in the management of your condition? Well, actually, I'll let uh, Dr. Cather answer that because she has a lot, a lot of patients who are dealing with this disease, too. Yeah, so, you know, traditionally, um, medicines, right? We do creams, pills, injectables. But I love the fact that you're coming to the table with a little bit of insight into the disease state. And yeah. you're coming from the homeopathic, which really mm -hmm. modern medicine doesn't embrace that. Um, right. So, but I do. Um, so I, I think Wonderful. that there's, yeah, I think that there's, I'm from California. I think that there's more than um, one therapy for 
given person. And so I think the biggest thing that we can do as a medical profession is to listen to patients, see what they need, and try to partner with them and give them therapy options, right? So all this is, it's a path. I'd like to go on your path with you. You have a journey and I am supposed to keep you safe and I will give you all your therapy options. And there are so many good things on the market now um, for psoriasis that, um, you know, she is exceptional. Um, you know, this is not my average psoriasis patient next to me. And um, there are people out there that are isolated because of the disease. They're not reaching um, their goals in life. And so we can all look up to her and thank her for sharing herself and her story and, and also know that you will learn about a lot of other therapies. So the show, moreofyou.com, will talk about the disease state and therapies. And, and certainly there is not one magic bullet for psoriasis. There is no cure. And until we can figure it out for everybody, everybody can come to the table and try to help people. Oh, I completely amen to that answer <laughs> because you're, you're so right. There really isn't one magic bullet. And I'm a huge proponent of helping people figure out what works for them because just what wor what works for one person doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for another person. Right. So um, kudos to you, and thank you for, for being a, an advocate for all of your patients and for, for all of us patients out there. Thank you. So I just I have one, one final question, and I would just like to ask, you know, if you could go back and give your younger self advice on this condition, um, what would what would you tell yourself? Well, I have to tell you that that I think one of the reasons why I'm behind this campaign is because I had such a positive attitude about having psoriasis. I wasn't going to let me stop to achieve my goals and my dreams. I wasn't going to be embarrassed that I had it on my elbows and not let people see me. So for me, there's really nothing I would change because I had a very positive attitude about it. Good for you. Good. That's that's really good. So everyone can really take away that, you know, a positive mindset can be a huge game changer, huge right. game changer. Yes. Well, thank you for your time. It's actually kind of a full circle moment for me. Um, you know, growing up, I watched the Olympics with, with my mom, mm -hmm. swimming meets here, gymnastics there, but didn't really get into it until the 2012 London Olympics when I actually had to go out um, on disability for my psoriatic arthritis. Mm -hmm. So to be sitting here four years later talking about psoriatic disease, with such a distinguished Olympian athlete like mm -hmm. yourself, it's just it's pretty surreal. So thank you very much, and thanks thank for everything you. Hang that in you're there. doing. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. You too. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.